Well, welcome everybody to my uh, COVID-19 studio uh, here in, uh, on Broom Street and Crosby in Soho, New York. I guess I'd like to talk a little bit about uh, how I'm working uh, here uh, at uh, this makeshift studio, which is basically uh, a room that my wife, Barbara Probst, uh, usually uses as an office, and I'm now using it to paint in. Uh, Barbara has uh, uh, generously moved over to uh, the dining table in the dining room, and I'm here be in order to gain access to ventilation for the fumes from the paintings. Now, well, you can see these are all unfinished. I can give you a couple of images that are sort of models, uh, that are studies for these small paintings. Okay, so this one here will, uh, eventually become this, although the colors will be slightly different, and this will have a, an orange color background. But the two figure forms are going to be very similar. This is a study for the painting that is below it, which of course is in process now. And this painting has this as a study, but this study is incomplete and this study is a variation for what for the the image below it because it has two upright bars descending instead of just one in the painting that'll be the finished image so it's it's uh it's in process the background color will probably be lavender like in the painting below although i'm pointing to the fact that there are certain ideal conditions uh in this moment for an artist. Uh, I think everybody has to remember that really, or I certainly have to remember that I'm essentially in a very privileged position. I, I'm a relatively successful artist and I can afford uh, to, to be removed, not be working at the moment and to just take this time. But unfortunately, uh, the, the shutdown is very selective in a way because there are many people who uh, really need to work very regularly. So it's, it's a very, uh, I'm, I'm just saying that I'm really very concerned about how that will work out. Well, many people when, when uh, conversing with me in email or sometimes on the phone, when they refer to the shutdown, they often use the word surreal. And I think that something that could be an interesting model for this moment is the dream. To me, this moment in time is really like a dream. It, in, on some ways, it's a beautiful dream, and in some ways, it's a horrible nightmare. In what sense it's beautiful kind of refers to some photographs that I took of the Soho area. When you look at them, you'll see that, that the streets are completely empty. It's barren, and it's sort of like, like um, Soho erased 40% of its history and is back to the way it was uh, at the end of the 70s, maybe around 1980. Whichever people were actually resident here were uh, mostly artists, and all the other lofts were mostly really light industrial spaces. And in the daytime, there was kind of a lot of laborers working here, but at, at night and, and in, on weekends, it was completely barren. And being here now, it's like uh, erasing time and also erasing all of the, the, the crowding, the noise, the, the shoppers that are here. To me, it's like an empty city, an ideal city, a city that exists for its own ideal self, for what it is as a structure without people. It's a little like uh, maybe to Kiriko's metaphysical cities in his metaphysical paintings. Um, but uh, it's, it's also you know, a, plato a platonic city. Um, and as such, it, it's quite beautiful. The structures of the buildings are beautiful. And my wife and I often walk around here and, and we really love what it gives us to be here now with, uh, with so much quiet and so much peace. So that's really wonderful. On the other hand, it's a very dark moment. Uh, when I say it's dreamlike, I mean, sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night and I have nightmares 
about people walking around wearing masks, um, uh, social uh, distancing, which I find is very disturbing because it's extremely alienating, and all the other things that go with, with um, uh, this moment. Um, so, and, and you know, it, and what I'm really concerned about is that eventually we retrieve the life that we had before. People talk about returning to the new normal. I don't think that that's a very attractive idea because I don't think that anything based on this model will be a satisfactory way for people to live. So I hope we can get past this and go back to shaking hands, embracing friends, and all the other things that, that bring people close together.